Hey guys, this is Nick from Beer and Bat Reps, and I am here with a very special guest. This is my wife, Erin. Say hello, Erin. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> She's nervous, but <laughs> this is a quiz. This is a test for Erin. You're going to see how much she pays attention while I'm painting for years of my life and saying the names of what I'm painting over and over again. And if she doesn't know it, she's going to take her best guess. We're going to go through all my favorite miniatures and just have some fun. So. Get a pint, or if you're like me, get some wine. <laughs> ah, settle in, and thanks for joining us. So, as you can see, I'm starting her off nice and easy. Erin? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very generically, what are these called? They're the most famous thing in Games Workshop. That is a space marine. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> All right, so I couldn't tell you said it slow because you're mocking me or... No, <laughs> I was, was looking in your guess. eyes for approval during the speech. Okay, I'm going to have to put sunglasses on. All right, one for one, well done. All right, here's another one I think you love, you know and love. So we get them nice. or me? You, you love oh, them. Oh, me. Oh, okay, I don't, okay, I don't know uh, what they <laughs> are specifically called, but... Um, I know they belong to the Nurgles. Good job. That's basically what they're called. Nurglings. Yay! Are they really? Yay! <laughs> Nurglings. You heard it here, folks. That's two for two. Look at that. Well done. Okay, so. I really didn't um, think I'd get any. <laughs> yeah, basically I'll, I'll grade you on each one. Oh, so okay. That's, that's two A pluses in a row. Oh, well nice. done. All right, this is now my favorite thing in all of Warhammer. I've read all of his books. Okay. I read them when I was a kid. Okay. I read them again recently. Okay, so it's probably been on our coffee table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any idea? This is like the leader of my army. Well, let me tell you this. I recognize him. That's good. That's a good and start. I remember you showing him to me while he was being painted. Oh, I'm sure I did. And I know that you told me about him. <laughs> And I recognize him from the thumbnail of your video. Oh, well, that's that's nice. I'm glad that you yeah. got my thumbnails. All right. Well, I'm a subscriber. Oh, no, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, subscribe. <laughs> um, his name uh, is. You want a hint? No. <laughs> I can give you up to one hint per His mile. name is <laughs> Thorn. <laughs> Thornhead. Uh, Half hand hard. No, wait, that's Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, that's Game of Thrones. All right. So you're close, though. You're really close. Okay. It starts with an R. Ronan. Think, think, okay. Viking, think Viking names. R R Ralph. <laughs> I don't know any Vikings named Ralph, guys. Yeah, like, chime off in the comments below if you know any Vikings named Ralph. Hold on. Okay. R his la his second part of his name is, has to do with how dark his hair is. His mane. Raven. His dark hair. Raven. His dark mane. That is Raven. The color. Red. No, no, no. The second part of his name. <laughs> this Black is terrible. Mane. Black mane is the second half. But you said R. Yeah. Right. So the first, he has two names. The oh first Lord. and last name. Uh, All right, it's Mr. Ra Ragnar. Black. Main. Good job. You got it. Nailed it. Ragnar Blackmane. Mr. Pretty. Mr. Ragnar Blackmane. Well, he looks like he commands a level of respect. <laughs> All right, here's another favorite of yours. You've watched me build a whole army of these. Mm hmm. You can give me the very generic name for a creature like this. That is Pukey Matrolson. <laughs> well, yeah, think of Norway, yeah. So you said it. Trolls. That's Got what it. it is. Nailed yep. it. Yep. Technically, lately, as of the last maybe five years, Games Workshop has trademarked their own name for it called a Trogoth. No. But for the last 15 years, it was a troll. No. I'm no? sorry. You don't like Trogoth? Uh, no, they're trying too hard. It almost sounds they're like... They're thing too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Never <laughs> Trogoth too hard, guys. Don't. Um, these are technically swamp trolls. Fell he doesn't. Water. He's called a fell I guess water I could, trogoth. I could see the swamp. Some people say trogoth. I think it just depends on your accent. Listen, I the swampy boy. I remember him, and I remember swampy. the thing I loved about him the most. Can I point it yeah, out? Yeah, do it. And I think you know where I'm going with this. The thing I love the most about him are just all of his beautiful rolls. He does have rolls. It's almost like 
And that's also what you tend to like about Nurgle. I as know. Well, the rolls. He's got a belly too with seaweed hanging off of it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's great. Gotta love the swamp trolls. Yeah. Okay. Along with Ragnar Blackmane, there was another series of books that I read as a child. Oh, okay. Well, I wasn't present. With another super epic hero. Okay. He starts with a G. That is Gimli. Oh, so <laughs> close. Though, I have to give you points for uh, nerd culture <laughs> reference. Um, the greatest trilogy of all time. It is the same, like, race. It is the same race? He's species? Dwarf. I don't know. Yes, he's a dwarf. Starts with a G. Oh. I did a painting tutorial of this on my channel. Uh huh, you did. <laughs> and it is Gornin. Perfect. Gordon. Yep. Gor Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> Gordon the Troll Slayer. Yep. His name is Gotrek. Of course. You know, we're doing all right. You've, you've done... I don't personally... <laughs> first, you've done three out of five so far. Personally, I don't know. My name This next one, I will take any of the Arnett. nicknames I've given it. That. One of my favorite models of all time. Is. I did it in a leopard print and ginger hair. Griff. No, no, no. Think of the, no. the Crusade <laughs> series I've recorded and I, I named them after someone we know personally. Oh, Miles. Miles! Uh, guys, our, our house cat, our pet, his name is Miles, and that's why I named this Miles the Malefic. The, the, right, the Malefic. Oh, yes. I, I read the, uh, the lore you wrote. That's right. The little intro where I mm -hmm. changed my voice all creepily. Yeah. Well, that's One great. of those was me. Did you keep that it in? It was, yep. Talking into a voice changer. Who did I voice? You voiced a guy called the Gleam. Oh, that's right. That's He's right. That's right. Herald of Zinch. That's right. Okay, we're getting into some 40k stuff here. I guess we already had a couple, but mm -hmm. those of you at home may know who this is. His color scheme is a little different than normal, but creepy crawly slug man. Can I see his face? I've had a whole good luck. It's covered in gas mask and wires and that. I've had him since the beginning of 8th edition. I know you don't know what that means, but... I don't. <laughs> that is... He's the leader of that robot army. Okay. It doesn't actually help me. <laughs> <laughs> that is... Give him, a, give him a nickname if you don't know who it is. Pointy. Pointy? Yeah, he's pointing. Mm, yeah. Just pointy. No, Just pointy Mick. Pointy... <laughs> well, if you would want... I didn't know you wanted a surname. Uh, pointy... Mick Exo Tin because of his exoskeleton. Oh, okay. See this exoskeleton with rust on it. This is Pointy Mick Exo Tin. Yeah. Also known as also known as Belisarius Cowl. I was yeah very very close. I was thinking of the Nothing Belisarius. Like notorious. Notor yes. Yes. I don't want you to basically get okay. Copyright. You. They did not uh, make their own. GW trademark name for this. This literally has the same name it's always had in Greek mythology. Hydra? Hydra. You did it. I well did it. Well done. A plus. That's a little now, are they, 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 call, they call it a war Hydra. Are they, so are they evil like in Marvel? They're not. This is, believe it or not, so you're telling the good me, guy armies. This you're telling a, me. This is from an order army. That they are dripping blood out of goodness? Well, they ate bad guys. Oh, okay. Ate some orcs or something. I don't know it. Although orcs are kind of neutral these days. Okay. We've got a rainbow colored gentleman oh, with a galaxy cloak. I love him. Um, I remember when you painted him, and I don't know if you did this, but I felt like you did it for me. I did. Oh, thank you. I did. It's the only one I ever painted. I was going to build a whole army of these, but this one took so long that I gave up and sold the yeah. rest of the army. Well. Happens. Um, is that a griff? No, a griffin is a that... half lion, half bird. Does he not have no, no, bird he's... features? Nope. No, he doesn't. He's a oh, okay. lizard boy. He's a that rainbow lizard. Is... Well, there you go. Rainbow lizard. I love there that. There you go. Rainbow lizard. What about the guy on top? That is... Well, I need to see more of him. He's not much. He's just covered in armor and he's got a galaxy cloak with stars and... Starburst. Starboy. Starboy and Rainbow Lizard. Rainbow Lizard. Yeah. The actual name is much worse. I like that name. That was good. Okay, good. Okay. He is a Stormcast Eternal. No, no. And he's right. riding on a Dracoth. No, he's not. No, he's not. 
Starboy. Sorry. That's, I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. No, no. I, I like it. Starboy. For GW or anyone who likes these names, but let me tell you, they're just the, you know, try hard. Look at this weirdo. Charlie Brown looking pumpkin. <laughs> well, pumpkin that, that was your error, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> you um, painted him. I did. What are you thinking? <laughs> that. Oh, he's wobbling because he's on his magnet. Is. Well, the only thing that's coming to mind right now is um, like Xenomorphs. <laughs> wow. Uh, also, 10 points for nerd reference. Uh, but uh, I don't have any other than. So, this is that. from an army. Believe it or not, that has a name that sounds like Dracula saying it. It's the Drukari. Drukari. Okay, all of these names I re I do recognize now that That's you're good. saying them to me. Uh, so this guy is called a Talos. I do Talos. listen when you speak. This guy's called a Talos. I've also heard Talos online mm -hmm. from certain other. Could the S be silent? No. Mm. Well. Talos. Um, well, what do you have? He's, if they're multiple, called, are they Talai? Specifically, ooh, maybe. But it's called a Talos pain engine. I can it's see It's literally that. made for torture. I he's see a that. big floating torture Is device. this one that you that you bashed? Or is he, no, did he come he like that? No, he comes that much of a freak. Well, all right. All right, and here we have another galaxy theme because I like that paint style because it's fun. You get to flick paint. Remember when I was doing mm -hmm. that? Flicking paint all, 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 yeah. all over the living room. Your finger was all covered white. Yep. <laughs> It's just quick and messy paint scheme. It's just a lot of fun. Okay, you know these. You know the name. They're clowns. They're space clowns. I got a whole army of them. Space clowns. Okay, clown names. I'll give you a big hint. Oh. First, first is not that helpful to hint unless you know a lot about animals. But speaking of me, there's yeah. Sorry, if you hear scratching, our demonic cat Miles the Malefic is trying to scratch to the door. Uh, so that he can pull up all the vents in the room because he's a weirdo. Yeah. <coughs> so, when a Great Dane, the dog breed, okay. has gray and blue spots with black freckles, it's the same name. It's also a DC character. That's the big end. Oh, DC. Well, there we go. There's no way on that. You way. know some DC characters. It's a female DC character. Starts with an H. <laughs> How many more hints can I give you? Uh, start with an H? It's a girl. She has tattoos and a baseball bat. Oh my lord. She's in love with the Joker. Oh, Harlequins. These are the Harlequins. That's also. You a, should have referenced a Panic at the Disco. There are song. also Harlequin dogs. It's a type oh, of great thing. I did not know that. That I did not know. And I wouldn't have known. That gives you a little hint in my personal life, guys. I've, I work with dogs for a living. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> we got Spooky Boy, just in time for Halloween. Painted up like a mac and cheese. <laughs> 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 so, what do you think? It's a very generic, like, spooky name. That is Craft Wraith. Craft Wraith, yep. Because of the Kraft Macaroni and uh, Cheese. It's a very generic name. His name is... Demon Boy. <laughs> Nightbringer. Okay. That the sounds Nightbringer. Like, that sounds like um, an Always Sunny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Okay. One of my favorite things I've ever painted. I'm actually very proud. I do like his I'm paints. very proud of this one. Schemes. He's almost like glowing in a cave with algae all over him. I do like that. And he's got a face on a mother could love. Whoa, excuse me. Look at that. Look at that nose. I love him. Look at those teeth. I do love that. And I love that his his jewelry of choice is a cannon. Oh, well, yeah. With fungus growing out of it, of Does course. that indicate his size? This, yeah, he's a big boy. Okay. He's so ashy. I went out of my way to make him... You almost feel like it's going to come off <gasps> on your fingers. You know what? Look so at the ashy. rolls. I love it. He does have some back rolls <laughs> <laughs> coming over his belt here. Um, he's from an army we've already gone over. He's um, the leader of it. Of uh, the Trogoths. Okay, so what is he then? <laughs> The Trog. He's a leader. He's a leader, so he is the Trogathon. <laughs> Trogathon. <laughs> Look out. He's the Trog boss. 
No. Oh, seriously? No space. It's all one word. That's that's what it is. Okay, Trauma sounds better. I'm and, sorry. And he's got the beginning of his name is even funnier because he he lives in uh, danky wet caves, so they call him the dank hold trog boss. Just so they can trademark it. If you guys know anyone who is in charge of making these names. <laughs> I think they're great. Hit Dank me up. Dank old drug boss. Let us know. Alright. I want to know the stories behind. Now we have a classier regal. Regal. Royale. Royal. Yep. Yeah. What are these guys? I have a whole. He you've seen their own. is. Just generically, they're the big robots. I've said their name a bunch of times. You have today. No, not today. <laughs> no, not today. I yes, know. today. I've said their name a ton of times. <laughs> I don't know. It's very generic. It's medieval. Mm -hmm. There's a big hint. Mm -hmm. A very generic medieval word. Think of things that are in medieval times. Just the first thing that comes to your head. Squire. Squire, good. You're so close. You're burning up. Okay, these guys are basically the squires. Knight. The, yeah, knights. So this is called. Oh, it's just knight. Yeah, got the, it. The army are called knights. Imperial oh. knights. Yes. Okay, I I know this. Technically, this guy is called a armager halverin, mm -hmm. but they are basically. Those aren't word, real world. They not make up words. So when we say things wrong on battle reports, and people correct us, I'm like, it's a made up word. I can say it however That's I want true. to, but um. So, you were actually dead on. They're basically the squires I didn't for really... the bigger ones, the big <gasps> boys. Stompy, stompy stompers. The Nightathon. Nightathon? <laughs> you're, you're stuck on Megatron. I just Knight really think that, you know, it gives off a certain so, quoi, if you will. <laughs> um, yeah. This guy's just another knight. He's big. He's a big one. Knight. He has a name besides knight. <laughs> he does. <laughs> They're all just called knights. Of course they do. He's a tyrant. Well, when he's oh, a chaos, well, when he's a chaos knight, he's called a tyrant. I can see that. I can see that. He's for big, him. and I converted some and stuff. And I like that for him. I gave him some some funky uh, golden palm tree leaves. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like a fleur de lis a little bit. Yeah, basically. And then I gave him this cool like hunting. Now explain this to me. Why would a robot need a loincloth? What is he hiding? He's not anything. It's more like heraldry. He's got some deer skin it's with in, a... But it's just in a precarious deer, deer skin spot. With, actually, skin. I think it's lion skin. That looks like a lion. Well, that's skin. disgusting. Okay. With a, you know, golden deer... Yep, little, little conversions, guys. Goes will. a long way. No, I'm not saying it's anything you did. I'm just I'm, I've noticed that a lot in your models. Speaking Actually, I see one coming up, and I just don't understand what we're hiding. <laughs> Speaking of conversions, this guy's very converted. That in in fact, that entire cloak that he's wearing in his, in his rainy, super wet, got raindrops coming off. The whole cloak is made from scratch with green stuff. He's I remember a, when you got this, you were really Yeah, he's a crazy pumped. robot in the rain. Uh, um, that is... He's, he, his hood creates a, creates a shadow. Like, I can't even show what he looks like on the camera. There you go. Shadow Bane. It's close. No, <laughs> there's it, no way that's it's close. Got, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, not too close. Um, so, he does have a spooky mm. name, though, in honor of Halloween. Old Spoopy? Um, Old Spoopy. Yep. Yeah, he, he's called a Ghost Keel. Hmm. Okay. Ghost Keel. Okay. K-E-E-L. All right. Ghost Keel. Okay. Don't know why. I do like the the cloak. I don't know, I don't know what um, I would think of him without it now that I've seen it with it. Okay, we're getting down to some of my all-time favorites. Here. I know. I can tell that you've saved them. Some of my all-time favorite models. Yay! Oh, Big Ugly himself. I take um, a certain type of um, credit for this construction of this model because when you built it, I remember we lived in an... It was like years ago in an old apartment, and I remember you asking me if the tongue... Because apparently there was another way for the tongue to be... Or you could have done a different thing with the tongue. Okay. And I remember telling you, no, the tongue has to wrap around the sword. I don't know if there's another way, but maybe I wasn't even going to use you it You weren't going to use it. Something, yeah. it wasn't, there was like something about the tongue. The tongue ended up good. That was a good call. Th thank Purple you, it was. Around. You he's, were very he's his snot worried about not using the, 
the tongue because it was so hard to wrap around. I remember that. So this big ugly boy with the rolls you love. <sighs> I mean, he even has like a butt. I just can't he's, tell he's you got, how much I love him. Rolls. He's got a spine showing, which looks a little painful. I don't care. I still love him. Um, so you know he's Nurgle. Yes, he's Nurgle. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's great. The great unclean one. <laughs> She got it. Big because time. I love that's him. Big time. That's and a big one. Because we are best friends. We're getting down to some of my favorite all time. <gasps> my last I two. see one that I know the name of. Yes, those are. That's the lightning. The little bonus round at the end. Oh, okay. okay. So wait a minute. Now I'm not sure if we're talking right. about the same one. So obviously not painted painted in a traditional way, but I love this model. I love how it turned out. Mm -hmm. Got to admit, I'm a little proud of it. Um, his name has. A His name has a color, and it's not this color. There's your big it's hand. red. Uh huh. Okay, I know that because you, you talked to me about like, that. I'm gonna make them not red. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, but his name is eluding me because the only thing I can think of is Tenacious D. And <laughs> <laughs> what the demon? The yes. Thing? Okay. I mean, it kind of looks like he's got the horns and everything, and the creepy uh. Red. Golden mask. It's something the red, and such as an M. Man. Main Coon the Red. What would the male version, I don't know if this is right, <laughs> the, the male version of like Maggie? Maggot. <laughs> we're, not on, we're not on Nurgle anymore. <laughs> Maggot the Red. Maggin. Magan. <laughs> yeah, you're just, Megan the Red. You're, yeah, Megan. Yep. <laughs> oh, Megan. This is Magnus. Okay. Nice. Oh, like Matilda. I don't know if that's Roman or Greek, but Magnus. I don't know. Magnus the I Red. Like and instead, I made him blue, teal, and purple, and yellow. And again, he is sporting a certain cloth that I don't. Yeah, you don't know what's under there. You don't want to know. It's a demon. Well, All right. Why can't they just repaint? Drum roll. Favorite. Favorite all time, right here. Best model GW's love, ever made. I do love that. I mean, he is a tsunami wave. Mm-hmm. He literally is just That's like really cool. surfing up on a wave, coming to crash. It's really impressive too because Look at the little fish. especially towards the end of the the sea foamy part, you know. Uh, How it slow. even attaches? Like, yeah, that's I like that. It's also the most kind of fragile model I've ever had. I can't even transport him. He's like never left our house because he'll just break in the car. Wow. Everything is so fragile. Yeah. Nothing is chunky. Everything is very thin and brittle. But yeah, oh, got, I see a junkie boy. He's got all of his a little there chunky he fish. Is. Yeah, he's got all of his fish buddies. He's got like this octopus frowning. Uh -huh. uh, Aww. He's got, I love these guys. Come on, focus, camera, you can do it. Got a little angry fish. He's got a dancing pink and blue seahorse. It's like a little mermaid. A little seahorse yeah. dancing. He's got like a snail guy uh -huh. and another like seahorse. Yeah. Little yellow seahorse, snail boy. Mm -hmm. Got his fish and his. Yeah, this guy's amazing. Mm -hmm. I have a nickname for him. Mm -hmm. Tommy. Pickles. <laughs> 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 We've had a bit of wine here, guys. All right. Uh, you have had wine. I've had zero calorie, zero sugar soda. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the fake stuff. What is he riding on? I already said it out loud. What is he riding on? Yeah, what is this? A wave. A strong tsunami. Wave. Yes. That's why I call him Tommy Tsunami. Oh, him Johnny Tsunami time. was a, a Disney Channel movie. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Well, all right. <laughs> I didn't grow up with Disney Channel. Sorry, guys. But that's not Some of thing. you might be happy. Some of you might be punching air right now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I was a Nickelodeon kid. I didn't watch Disney. No, that's okay. I, those were good too. Anyway, I call him Tommy Tsunami. Mm -hmm. um, his name is insane. I didn't expect you to know it. I was hoping you would know his. Fishman. Tommy Tsunami Fishman. 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 That's Esquire. Third. His name, and I'm not even kidding, this is all made up. This uh -huh. is all fake stuff. Oh, I am, I'm, I'm sure. He is the Eidolon, as in E I D O L O N, Eidolon of. Mathlon, M A T H L A N N. Also, <laughs> under that, <laughs> the aspect of the storm. 
Eidolon of Mathlon, the aspect of some the store. Some businesses know, or some companies know <laughs> how businesses know. Right. Yeah, okay. The like longest that. name for the longest cloak, for the coolest model, for mm -hmm. the fragilest model. I'm scared to even be touching him. I don't pick him up by anything but the base because he's so fragile. Let's set this over here. We have a couple non-Warhammer models to surprise her with. Some of you at home might know these models. So... Last little fun round. Here he is. He's little. He's obnoxious. I painted this a long time ago, guys. He's from a video game. <gasps> Who is it? That's Clappy Trappy! Oh, Claptrap! Oh, Claptrap! Oh, Clappy Boy! I love him. Oh, Claptrap. I don't even remember where I found this. Probably eBay somewhere. But he's cool. I use him as like a... I don't know. Some kind of thrall for a... Engineer in Warhammer. Little robot follows him around. He should just be like the mascot. Okay, we have an ultimate nerd I, challenge here. I already know it. Okay. And here it is. All right, drum roll and... Oh, man. Here it is. This foe is beyond any of you. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Your weapons are no more use here. We Come don't on, swords. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what happened when the, the dwarves dug too greedily and too deep. Balrog. Shadow and flame. What's his name? Balrog. Balrog. She knows it, guys. She's Lord of the Rings nerd. I'm well, very proud. I'm very proud. You said Gimli I've seen earlier. It. Yes. I don't know everything about it. But you knew Gimli and Balrog. Well, That's yeah. pretty good. I know the ones. That... Rap, rapid fire round. Who's the elf? With the bow? Legolas. Come on, all the girls like Legolas. Legolas. No, he's not Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> he's Leg Lego Lass. Lego Lass. Who is who is the greatest fictional character in the history of anything? And he's amazing at everything and can't die. And Gandalf. Well, you can say Gandalf, but my favorite. Sauron. <laughs> Sauron. <laughs> he should not be named. No, come on. Brown hair. He's glorious. Our dog is named after him. Oh, Vigo Mortensen. Yes, Vigo, but what's his character's name? His name is... Come on. <laughs> his name is... What's his nickname? He's got two names. One cannot simply... That is his name. <laughs> no, that's... That's... It's, um, it's Ned Stark. You're mixing up characters. You're talking about Boromir. I'm talking about Aragorn. Wait. Vigo Mortensen who is, the... is Aragorn. Who's the other one? You're thinking of Sean Bean. <gasps> Boy. Yeah, no, yes, I How see, I told you, up? I don't remember. Oh, guys, I don't know. This, this, <laughs> my, this, this is a deal breaker. How are you going to mix no. up Boromir and Aragorn? One's the true king. Oh, how are you going to mix up Boromir and Aragorn? <laughs> I, I told What's... you, I've seen it one time. I've seen the movies one time, and we were trapped by a snowstorm. And it was a lot of fun, and yeah, I liked it. Oh, they're great. But it's the not best something of all I time. Remember. Anyway, guys, she got it right. I did. Balrog. Also, we talked about him a lot when you when you painted him. So That's right. So, guys, so try, say... try this at home. Quiz your, your spouse, your roommate, your siblings. The mailman. Your parents. Give them a little quiz. See what they can your come up with. Your postmate, your Uber. Whoever you paint around and say the name and see if they're really Anyone paying attention. Anyone you see. Basically, <laughs> see if they're really paying attention mm -hmm. when you quiz them, because man, I've spent years painting these and saying the names out loud. And it's good to know that it's she listened to huh? some of them. She got a few of them. Oh, I did. You did. And I think more importantly, I remembered the stories about when you painted them, the right. moments, the memories. It's the memories, guys. It's about moments. Life's about moments. And I realize right now you're just looking at a green square, so I'll give you a thumbs up. And I'll tell you, we'll give you an A-OK. -okay. Whoa, I don't know about that one. Give you a thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll tell you that this has been Nick and Aaron. Yeah, it has. From Beer and Bat Reps. Well, so, I don't know if I'm part of it. Cheers. Thanks for joining us. Cola. Clink. There you go. Thanks for joining us, guys. Later.